India's foray into the space research started in the early 1960s when the satellite applications were in the experimental stages worldwide. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, a visionary behind India's space program, had strong conviction that the space technology could be effectively leveraged to tackle the problem of society and the country. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, was founded in August 1969 and it was brought under Department of Space in September 1972. The prime objective of ISRO is the development of advanced space technology and application of space technology for societal, commercial, developmental and strategic requirements of the country. While the 1970s were the period of conceptualization, the 1980s were the period of experimentation, which saw the demonstration of end-to-end -end capabilities through Aryabhatta, Bhaskara, Apple experimental satellites and SLV and ASLV development launch vehicles. These initiatives laid a strong foundation for realization and deployment of operational Indian National Satellite System, INSAT, Indian Remote Sensing Satellite System, IRS, and for development and operationalization of Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, PSLV. ISRO functions through various centers and units located across the country. ISRO has been making a steady progress in development and deployment of state-of-the-art infrastructure and systems. ISRO has successfully developed different class of launch vehicles for launching satellites of different payload capabilities. The PSLV, GSLV, LVM3 and SSLV have shown their precise performances in placing satellites to various orbits of Earth including LEO and GEO, further to the orbits of Moon and Mars. Recently, ISRO successfully conducted the demonstration of autonomous landing of reusable launch vehicle, RLV LEX. Further, ISRO is pursuing its endeavors to develop next generation launch vehicle with higher payload capability while offloading the operational launch vehicles to industry. ISRO has launched fleet of communication satellites including high throughput satellites into the geostationary orbit for meeting the requirements of television broadcasting, VSAT services, internet broadband, cellular backhauling, island connectivity, telemedicine and teleeducation applications. ISRO has launched several Earth observation satellites namely Kartosat, Resat, Oceansat and also meteorological satellites for various applications in earth and ocean resource monitoring, resource management, geospatial applications and for weather and climate applications. The satellite data are regularly provided to various user ministries and other users. These satellites play a significant role in disaster management in the events of floods, forest fire, earthquake, landslide, tsunami, etc., saving valuable lives and assets. The satellite data have been consolidated, value-added and made available to various users through platforms like Bhuvan, Mosdaq and Vedas. Several government and private users are deriving the benefit out of these portals. NAVIC is the navigation system of India with a constellation of satellites operating from geostationary and geosynchronous orbits. NAVIC provides the position, navigation and timing services for civilian and strategic applications. ISRO is constantly continuously contributing to the capacity building in space infrastructure and human resources in the country through various sponsored R&D programs and outreach activities. 
ISRO actively collaborates with other space agencies and organizations worldwide. It not only partners with the space-faring nations, but also works with space-aspiring nations in sharing expertise in space technology and applications. ISRO's contribution with space science missions, namely ASTROSAT, Aditya L1 and ExpoSat is significant for the space research. Several national and international researchers and institutions have made use of the data from these satellites and brought out publications in renowned international journals. ISRO also undertook space exploration missions of Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter missions to study Moon and Mars while developing the critical technologies. India has successfully landed its Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-3 closer to the southern polar region of the Moon. It has also deployed Pragyan rover to explore the lunar surface. These missions have not only expanded scientific knowledge but also have garnered international acclaim. Efforts are continued to scale new heights in this journey. Gaganyaan project of ISRO envisages demonstration of human spaceflight capability. The mission is to orbit Indian astronauts at 400 km altitude for 1 to 3 days and bring them back to Earth safely. Various precursor missions are in progress for demonstrating the technology preparedness levels before carrying out the actual human spaceflight mission. These demonstrator missions include integrated airdrop tests, pad abort tests and test vehicle flights. Safety and reliability of all systems will be proven in unmanned missions before the manned mission. As announced by Honorable Prime Minister of India, 2035 तक अंतरिक्ष में भारत का अपना स्पेस स्टेशन होगा जो हमें स्पेस के अज्ञात विस्तार को जानने में मदद करेगा इसरो इज वर्किंग ऑन रियलाइजिंग एन इंडियन स्पेस स्टेशन नेमली भारतीय अंतरिक्ष स्टेशन बाय 2035 एंड टू लैंड एन इंडियन ऑन मून बाय 2040 द जर्नी ऑफ इंडियन स्पेस प्रोग्राम कंटिन्यूज टू ग्रो to serve the nation, the citizen and the humanity at large.